Hello friends. In today's video, we will see one more question on orthographic projections. So let us see what is given in this question. Pictorial view of an object is shown in figure using first angle projection method. Draw its following views. First, front view from direction x. Second, top view. And third, left hand side view. So in this question also, a three-dimensional figure. Which is also called as pictorial view, or in this case, it is isometric view. It is shown in this figure. So we have to draw front view from this direction x, top view from top direction, and side view from left hand side direction. So we know that front view is always drawn on vertical plane VP, top view is drawn on horizontal plane HP, and side view it is drawn on profile plane PP. And according to first angle projection method, front view is above the top view, or we can say top view is below the front view. And left hand side view, it is always towards right of the front view. So, in this question, first of all, we will draw x y line to indicate a reference line. Above this x y line, there is vertical plane V P. And below this x y line, there will be horizontal plane H P. So we'll mark V P here to draw the front view, and H P here below the x y line to draw the top view. Then we'll draw x one y one line to create profile plane P P. On this plane, we will draw this left hand side view. So here we have finalized the areas where we have to draw the front view, where we have to draw the Left hand side view, and here we have to draw the top view. So after that, let's construct rectangular boxes in each view. So for that, look this object from front direction. So from from front direction, we will see the overall dimension of this object are length equal to 30 plus 45, that is 75 mm length, and height equal to 60 mm. So in the front view, we will construct a rectangular Box of 75 mm length and 60 mm height. So to construct this box, choose convenient distance from x y line and x 1 y 1 line. You can assume suitable distance. Then project each corner of this rectangle from front view to top view. Now look this object from top direction. So from top direction, we will see the overall dimensions are 75 mm length. And 30 plus 15, 45 mm width. So in the top view, we will construct a rectangular box of 75 mm length and 45 mm width. Again, you can choose this distance, convenient distance from x y line. Then project each corner from front view to left hand side view, and from top view to left hand side view. So to do so, simply Draw a 45 degree inclined line through this corner. Then project each corner from top view to that inclined line, and from that inclined line to left hand side view. So here we will get a rectangle of height 60 mm and width 45 mm. Remember that these lines must be thin lines. All the construction must be drawn with thin lines, and the, the dimensions shown here are just for reference only. Students should not give dimensions at this stage. After completion of all the views, you should give the dimensions. Now, next step is to mark the origin O in each view. So, for that, mark origin O here in the question figure. Then see from front direction, origin O it is towards left bottom corner. So, in the front view. Mark origin O at left bottom corner. Now look this object from right hand side. Where is origin O? Origin O is towards right bottom corner. So in left hand side view, mark origin O here at right bottom corner. Similarly, mark origin O at left bottom corner of top view. So you can see that in first angle projection method. Origin O in each view are at bottom extreme corners of each view. 
After constructing the rectangular boxes in each view and marking origins in each view, the next step is to complete the actual projections. So look at the object from front direction. So from front direction we will see three vertical faces of this object. So let's draw these three vertical faces in front view. So let's draw its face F1 first. This is a triangular face. It has three corners. Its first corner is at top left corner of this object. So this corner will be seen at top left corner of this rectangle. The second corner of this triangle, it will be seen at 30 millimeter from right edge of this object. So it will be seen at 30 millimeter from right top corner of this rectangle. And this third corner of this triangle, it will be seen 15 millimeter from base. So this third corner will be seen 15 millimeter from origin O. So simply we have to mark these three points and we have to join this by thick lines to complete this face F1. This is a vertical triangular face of this object. Similarly, we can draw face F2. F2 has four corners. So simply we have to mark these four corners in, in this front view. So first corner of this face F2, it is here. It is at the same level of corner of F1. So it is same here. And second corner, it will be seen at origin O. So second corner is here. It will be seen at origin O. And third corner of this face F2, it is 30 millimeter towards right of this origin O. So this is 30, 30 millimeter from right of origin O. And fourth corner, this is this is at this point. This, this, is, this edge is vertical. So simply we have to draw the vertical line up to that inclined line. So we will get the fourth point. So simply join these four points by thick lines. So we will get the F2 vertical face in front view. Similarly, we can draw this vertical face F3. It has five corner points. Out of which this first corner point, it will be seen at the same level of this corner point of F2. So it will be seen here. First corner point of F3 will be here. The second corner point of F3 it is the right bottom corner of this object. So it will be seen here. Then third corner point of this F3. It is top right corner of this object. So it will be seen here. And then fifth fourth corner point of this object. It will be seen here. And fifth corner point it will be seen here. So simply by joining these five corner points by thick lines. We can complete this face F3. So these are the three vertical faces in the front view which shows the true shape of the faces. You can see that this inclined line is nothing but the inclined surface of this object. This vertical line is nothing but the this vertical surface of this object. This horizontal line is this horizontal surface of this object. And this left hand side vertical line is nothing but the left hand side face of this object. So in this way, this is the complete front view of this object. Now note that if you could imagine the front view properly, you can draw this front view by simply making this rectangle dark and by drawing inclined surface line and this vertical surface line in the front view. Now let's move towards top view of this object. So for that simply project each corner from front view to top view. So simply draw vertical projection lines from each corner towards top view. Similarly, Project these corners from front view to left hand side view. Now let's draw top view of this object. So for that imagine that you are watching this object from top side. So from top we will see this horizontal surface T1 first. So simply we have to draw that shape in this rectangle drawn in the top view of the object. So for that you can make use of origin O. Origin O is here. So you can start from this corner which is opposite to origin O. So this corner is here. This corner is opposite to origin O. So you can start from this corner. So there is one edge of 45 mm long. long. So we can draw that edge 45 mm long. Then this edge of total length. This edge of total length. Similarly, you can construct this shape. You can make use of projections drawn from front view also. So in this way we have to complete this top face T1. Then 
again if you see from top we will see t2 phase t2 is a inclined surface t1 is a horizontal surface but t2 is the inclined surface so make use of projections drawn from front view and construct this t2 shape t2 is a inclined surface so this is complete top view of this object t1 and t2 these are only visible faces from top t1 is a horizontal surface and t2 is the inclined surface now let's move towards left hand side view so from each corner of this top view draw projections up to inclined line and then up to left hand side view so in left hand side view we will get this type of grid now let's draw left hand side view of this object so for that imagine that you are observing this object from left hand side so from this side we will see this s1 face first s1 is a vertical face having l shape so this corner of this face s1 it is 15 mm away from origin o so let's make use of this in left hand side view so origin o is here so mark a point 15 mm from o so from this point start this l shape here so we can make use of the grids in left hand side view also to complete this s1 face so s1 face is a vertical face now again see this object from left hand side so from this side we will see another vertical face s2 yes, s2 yes, is a vertical face its corner point this it will be seen in the same level of o from left hand side so make let's make use of that so from this o draw the s2 yes, face s2 yes, is a vertical face so you can make use of projection lines drawn from the front view also again watch this object from left hand side so from left hand side we will see the inclined surface again so let's call it s3 the same inclined surface you can obtain here in left hand side view simply by making some of the lines dark we can obtain the s3 face so this is inclined surface so you can imagine that s1 and s2 these are vertical faces but s3 is a inclined surface so this is complete left hand side view of this object and there is again nothing hidden in this left hand side view also now note that the face names given here like f1 f2 s1 s2 t1 t2 this should not be given by the students these are shown for our reference only now note that finally our drawing must be like this the line work must be proper like visible edges must be dark the projection lines must be faint the dimension lines extension lines reference lines that must be faint as shown in this figure and dimensions must be given as per the rules of dimensioning as shown in this figure no overlapping of the dimensions should be there and none of the dimensions should be less so this is final orthographic projection of this object for more questions refer textbook of engineering graphics from som publications and its mrp is only 200 this book is also available on flipkart don't forget to subscribe our channel like our video share our video thank you